Well, it's been a pretty exciting week for me in politics. I started the week off up in Toronto and was able to uh, speak to the uh, uh, results that we had for our CPAC uh, results, which are grade eight, uh, reading and science and mathematics. And in Nova Scotia, we're a little bit uh, behind the national average, but we're in the middle of the pack. Well, middle of the pack is not good enough for us, so we're going to be working on plans uh, to make sure that our children are going to be able to excel. Uh, then on Tuesday, I had uh, to do a pretty hard task, and I met with the Social Regional School Board and gave them the information and uh, that I would be dismissing them, and we've now appointed someone uh, in that in the place of the board. She is now the board, uh, Judith uh, Sullivan Corney. And I'm uh, hearing results today. She's already been working on the bylaws. She's already met with the parent group. And she's, uh, so far, you know, just for a couple of days, has been doing excellent work down there. Um, today, we, uh, the Premier was in uh, Liverpool to announce that uh, we're going to be supporting uh, Bowwater. Uh, this is a very carefully thought out plan. Uh, we are putting money into the plant. Uh, 25 million of it will be a forgivable loan over a five-year period. Uh, the other 25 million uh, is going to be developed Divided up to support workers that uh, uh, haven't uh, been able to maintain their job at Bowwater because of the restructuring. Uh, the money will be used to make the plant more efficient, more effective, more innovative. We recognize that the pulp industry is moving and transitioning in our economy right now and the province is going to be purchasing Bowwater forestry so Nova Scotians are going to benefit by having more land. Uh, one of the big things this week that I'm just thrilled about is that we have uh, put uh, legislation in which has created a uh, Nova Scotia Arts Council. And what it is meant by this is that we are going to be having a council. It's an arm's length council that will be making the decisions around funding for our uh, creative economy. Up to now, uh, over the last 10 years, uh, decisions made for funding for artists and, and uh, people in the creative economy uh, have been done uh, in a bureaucratic sense. It's been in a, in a government department. Now, it's in the hands of the artists. The Nova Scotia Arts Council will be uh, maintaining uh, their, the money in, in, at an arm's length. And so, you know, who better to make decisions around artists but artists themselves? So we're really, really thrilled about that. So it's been a pretty exciting week uh, in uh, the legislature. And so uh, I know as we head into uh, next week, we're going to have uh, another exciting week. On the home front, though, I just want to say that uh, we did have a storm last week, and a lot of people were concerned about uh, around plowing and salting. Just want to reassure everybody that there has been no reductions in the budget uh, at Transportation Infrastructure Renewal. Uh, the, it, everything is the same as it uh, was in terms of the protocol uh, for plowing and for salt. That storm just happened to be particularly nasty and uh, snow did accumulate and the, the weather person uh, did say that we were going to get rain in some areas and we ended up with more snow than ever expected. But just to reassure everyone, uh, the protocol around plowing and salting, uh, the, the money is still there the, the, and the uh, I know that uh, the transportation uh, people here and locally will answer anyone's question around that. So uh, that's uh, one of the things that I wanted just to reassure everyone everyone that, that uh, you know, our roads and our plowing and salting and the safety of Nova Scotians is paramount. And uh, so if anyone has any concerns, though, do not hesitate to call and just inform me of concerns you have in your area. So I hope everyone has a great week.